Good evening, it is Choose here. Uh, it's Wednesday evening. I've got a repeat of a uh, food dinner that I featured um, just a few videos ago. More fish sticks. Checker fries. This time I've got barbecue sauce on them. And this is a fish stick, or my version of a fish stick sandwich, uh, which was an idea sprung by ASMR Jason. What's up, Jason? Um, I just decided to put tartar sauce and ketchup on mine and some cheese. Uh, that's all I felt like sandwich-wise. I still am working on this deviled egg potato salad. Um... I don't know if I'll get into these pickles, but I got them out in case I felt the need. Oh, <laughs> broke. <laughs> My utensil totally broke on me. Please stand by. <clears throat> And one clean and at the ready. Okay. Uh, I've had a great work day. It was productive. Can you get this? I don't know if you were able to get the sound last time. I don't ever really listen back to my videos, except for when I'm, you know, editing them or. You know, trying to, yeah, well, basically edit them and stuff. Other than that, I don't really listen, listen back to them unless someone has informed me that I said something that I don't recall saying. I think I will have that pickle. Just in case someone likes the sound of opening bottle caps and lids. Okay. The sound you hear are chips. You know me, I may do another video in the Rainbow Room just dealing with chips. But I don't know because tonight is Blackish. Blackish comes on and uh, American Crime, so I don't know about a, another video today. Here's my sandwich and the cheese, the tartar sauce, and the ketchup. It's for you, Jason. It wasn't really a request that he had. He just mentioned it. I was like, of course I've had fish stick sandwiches before. But I don't know how he normally has his, so. So, I wrote down some things I just wanted to mention, most of which is music related. And I thought I would do it in the rainbow room, but I'll do it here. So, you guys are probably familiar with ASMR Emerged. I've been going to sleep to his video. He has a pizza video that he, I guess the place is called Green Lantern. The pizza has lots of banana peppers and jalapenos on there and pepperoni. Anyway, I have seen this video or slept to this video 
probably ten times now. It is that good. To me, anyway. If you have not discovered this guy, I did leave a link to his video on one of my videos. I can't remember which, I can't remember which one. You gotta check that out. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk about is some music that I'm listening to or recently discovered. Let's start with Sia. S-I-A. A couple of songs off. I have to say, I don't like a whole lot of her solo work. I really am more of a fan of her stuff that she did with Zero Seven. Um, but uh, two tracks from the new album. I forget what the new album's called. Um, that I like. The, those tracks are Reaper and Sweet Design. I think I've mentioned the Rihanna album. I don't really care for her all that much. But I'm, I'm going to say at least five or six songs off of that album. Really good. Let's see if I can remember them because I didn't write them down. Consideration. Um... I think it's called James Joint. Woo. Same old mistakes. Um, work. That had to grow on me. The one with Drake. Work. That had to grow on me. There's another one I think I like, but I can't remember it. There's a band called Nothing But Thieves. I've only got like two songs from Spotify that I kind of dig from them. I don't know much about them. Pet Shop Boys, their latest single, Pop Kids, is really good. Animal Collective. Their album is called Painting, Painting With. And I think the four songs that I put on a playlist is Hocus Pocus, Vertical, Golden Gal and Florida Da. I like them. They're kind of hidden this, but overall, I like them. Very experimental group. Mm. It's a British band from the 90s called Lush. They were what would what was known at the time, I think the British music press um, called them a shoegazer band. A lot of bands were like, like um, some of you will know, uh, what I'm, the bands, uh, like when I say Catherine Wheel and um, Swerve Driver, I think is the name of the band. Um, Chapter House, these bands were basically, they would play this loud, like, melodic music and just kind of gaze at their shoes while they played. Um, I don't think Lush considered themselves that, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, their new single, Out of Control, is really good. And I just discovered that they are going to be at the Vic Theater here in Chicago in September. So I'd love to get a ticket. Um, I'm going to throw on some ranch, y'all. For these fish sticks. <clears throat> I have never seen them live, but I like them. Um, they were on the 4AD label back in the day. Which brings me to a band that is not new, 
but they also aren't around anymore, who are also on that 4AD label, called the Cocteau Twins. I was listening to some Cocteau Twins yesterday. This band possessed a singer who had one uh, some critic, according to like the Spotify about section of them. So one critic compared her to the, her voice as being the voice of God. She really does have a pretty and angelic vocal um, voice. And the thing that made this group, you know, the group. The, the, they were kind of, they could be goth sounding at times, and then at times they'd be kind of more accessible, uh, contemporary sounding, commercial sounding, especially um, as the years progressed. Their early stuff was really kind of dark and, and loud. But the key, the calling card, the, the mysterious point of this group is that a lot of their early work up until a certain album, the lyrics are indecipherable. You, you don't know what the fuck she's saying or what it means. Um, it's crazy. And oddly enough, there are lyrics included on some of their um, songs on Spotify, and I swear somebody input them. They put them in themselves, some fan or something. I don't think they're the actual lyrics. But anyway, for those of you who are not aware, you need to be aware of Cocteau Twins. They're an extraordinary band. They never sold millions of albums or anything. Hardly even toured. But they're fairly iconic especially in their homeland. Um, Santa Gold, their new album is pretty decent. I love Banshee and Can't Get Enough of Myself. I think that's the name of the song. And some band called School of Seven Bells. I don't know anything about them, but I put a couple of tunes on my playlist. A Thousand Times More, a blaze and on my heart. So, if you know of any of these bands and want to add something more, let's talk it up. I've talked so much that I'm not going to finish this. That's great because I'll have something to snack on in a few more hours when American Crime comes on. I'll just put it away. Although I don't really like to eat uh, anything after 7 or 8 o'clock. can be perfect all the time, I guess. That's pretty much it. I'm going to save this for later. Sorry I couldn't finish it all. Um, I thank you for the new subscribers coming on board. Welcome and thank you. Uh, I see that some of you are joining the Rainbow Room channel as well. I so thank you for that. Um, if you go on this channel page, there's a little arrow pointing to the right next to the Google. Maybe you guys see it on your end. That's where you can click to get to... Oh, excuse me, to get to the uh, Rainbow Room channel. Anyway, you guys have a great night, and I'll see you soon. Bye.